Picture day. It's never, always fun. It's never easy. Never easy. <laughs> that kind of represents our picture day, huh? It's the, it's the first of November and we moved them on the last of this set of ground that we talked about a few weeks ago. They still got a little hay left. They have tons of grass though in this uh, probably two acre, well I'd say one and a half acre piece. It goes all the way back down here to that tree line. You got a little cold. I had to throw on my insulated bibs, but it's it's probably a good 50 outside for us. That's, that's chilly. Be November 1st and still have pretty good grass quality especially in some areas before they really get in the rice season because it's been warm. So we hadn't had our rye just really thrive, but then to turn around and have a little hay, have some good hay of grass still growing. I'm pleased. All the animals are starting to put on a good bit of, of uh, weight and a good bit of hair. So I know it's supposed to go off cold because God knows what he's doing with these animals. But all that slicked offness that they're used to having, they pretty much are starting to really put a good bit of hair and fur on on all our animals, even our pigs, but look at them, they've got good grass quality all right here, all the way down uh, to the end. I'm very pleased. What's far? Look, look at her, how thick her hair is. Hey, Holly. So she is, she's thickened up a lot uh, on weight, but also in in her, uh, her hair and fur. And that's why we start feeding hay now, is because they'll go ahead and put a good bit of weight on. They're chewing that that hay up and it's allowing them to stay warm. So they're building, they lay, lay down a lot more, which ultimately puts a little bit of weight on them as we go into the winter season. But they're looking really good. I'm very pleased. We do, looks like we have a buyer for uh, uh, Lily. We're gonna check see if she's pregnant in about a week or two. And she may be finding a new home on farm. Cold, I had a jacket on, then I got warm moving the fence because I didn't do it by myself, Aiden and then we're finishing up school. And I had to finish this up. They've eaten this great quality hay. Again, no fertilization on this hay, just complete and utter off the ground. You see all this, look at this grass, how good the grass still is right here in November. The cows are taking it down. This is their last move here. And after this move, they'll start making their way down by the dairy and by the horses and pretty much be on the rye, which I hope will grow quicker than what it's showing. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, hay. So this is their last really good grass move. We have one more set of grass over on the opposite side of the fence on the power line and then the deer paddock, but we're keeping the cows out of the deer paddock right now because it is deer season and gun season starts in just a few days. So we are gonna keep them out of that paddock for just a little bit. The rye's looking good there, but uh, right now we're keeping them out. So I'm gonna cut this, uh, this net wire off, uh, or this net bell stream off the hay. They'll finish this up, finish this paddock up for the next two or three days. It will kind of finish, finish this field off. We'll bush hog it really low, pretty much keep them off up for a while. Uh, because again, it, the ground will heal, but it won't heal like it needs to be in winter. So we'll cut it real good, real short. We, we thought about putting a cover crop back here like rye, but I just don't think I am. And the only thing will be back here on this part is just simply the pigs, which we'll be moving the pigs up in the forest a little bit more. And again, they'll start making their way on the back side too. Uh, like fall is off and now what is happening what do we start to get out christmas hey buddy it's kind of warmed up today didn't it so it's time to get christmas out huh got my christmas tree off that one little christmas tree doesn't even touch it well you can see it's late uh, not quite sunset, but getting close. <clears throat> I'm a little hoarse because I'm sick. And it is picture day at the max. A picture day at the max is always stressful because it's hard to have six kids, two adults, eight people total looking at a camera smiling at the same time. One of our friends taking some pictures for us. 
Miss Mac is up front and Aiden's right there and we have been trying to get ready. So let's see how this goes. See if we can make a pretty picture uh, for Christmas and also for Miss Mac. She's the real, the one that's gotta make sure it's right. We are taking our picture with uh, our new red truck. It's gonna be a Christmas truck today. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Big smile, real smile No fake smiling No fake smiling Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream picture day it's never, always fun it's never easy never easy <laughs> that kind of represents our picture day huh yeah. good job awesome. i think we got it up oh, breeze we got boys too <laughs> that was fun thank you girl all right jenny do you want to take a picture with your dad yes all right let's I'm gonna fix this shirt. Come up here for me, fix buddy. Fix it for him, bud. Come here, Jay. Jim, Jim, let me go fix your shirt. Here, I'll fix this. You guys see it where Mr. Jordan says hit. Come here, buddy. We're gonna have you on this side and him on the other. With a speed of light, we cross the stratosphere. Hey, hold her hand, hold her hand, hold her hand. Hey, hold her hand. She's wanting to walk, isn't she? Yeah. Y'all look at me, Come look on. at each other, laugh, laugh. All right, that's good. Y'all get them. Two or three, maybe? So you think you deserve cookies for doing good? Yay! Picture time so far? Five. What's well, way easier than six? <laughs> Is this one being difficult? Y'all play like you're doing on that truck. <laughs> oh, Real smile. Oh, yeah, you can. Jennings, look at me, Bubba. Is it on? No. Real smile, Jennings. Jennings, smile. Jennings. Jennings. For you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. In the night, time is running out of sight. A lonely wind is passing by. They're fishing the day, uh, put some manure on around the broccoli and weed in the broccoli. This is why we keep uh, mobile coops going out in the fields to make the fields look better, but also a stationary coop because with them, we turn around and make all this uh, beautiful chicken fertilizer we put around our stuff in our gardens. So we are collecting some of that now that's been sitting in the coop. So we work it from the, the hen boxes to the run, or excuse me, the hen box to the hen house, to the hen house to in here. So by the time it's ready for bedding, it's, it's good shape. And I'll show you what the broccoli looks like. It looks really nice. And it's all because we've been putting this around it. No other fertilizer other than the, the chickens. Basically take it out. And what's so neat is as I take it out, 
they go back in and work whatever was under it and around it. It's amazing. As much as I hate chickens, they really are vital to our farm in so many different ways. And uh, this is just one main way, probably more than the eggs, more than the chicken, is the fertilization, because the fertilization allows us to uh, feed everything else on farm, not just dealing with just them. Walk the walkways and put chicken manure all between the the six, uh, basically the six rows right there. And we have some back here. These were the succession planting. We've got about 50 right here that's kind of scattered throughout, and they're they're growing. Uh, it's going to be good because it's going to allow harvest times to be uh, kind of different and allow it to be staggered to where we could freeze this, work on this, and then have these growing and really starting to put off a few weeks later. But we've got chicken bedding. It's looking good in here. We've got the bucket over there. Here's what I've done here. This was amazing soil, but where I've weeded and had some grass clippings out, I turned around and raked it out, cleaned it out, and I piled it right there. And I'm going to put salvage tarp here. That soil is so phenomenal. I don't want to lose that soil, but I don't want to leave it right here in the rows where it's going to reseed grass. So as it gets colder, we'll put silage tarp on that. We'll have that for later in the season or even next year. But we want to keep that 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 soil that is so good in here we just want to keep the grass out of it too so i'm pleased with what that's looking like it's still got moisture in it we haven't watered in about five days and it's just got moisture hanging on the side of the condensation condensation so i'm pleased with the caterpillar tunnel so far